Where is it? I'll kill all of you. Put it down! Get out! Welcome to First Person Defender. Where regular people come face to face with unknown attackers in real world scenarios and fight their way out. This is First Person Defender. Joey is a serious pig hunter, and he also competes in three gun as well as long range rifle shooting. However, he doesn't have a background in defensive firearm training. This force on force training uses real firearms converted to fire marking cartridges. The crew wears yellow shirts and are considered to be invisible to role players. This setup has a business with a reception area. People are waiting out front, but Joey's in a back room putting away equipment. He's told to simply react to anything that happens. KJ, you the son of a b that ratted me out? Oh, hey, hey. Where is he? I'll kill all of you. Put it down! KJ, call the police. Call. Get your hand off the gun! Get it off! KJ, buddy. Night one, we have a shooting. Not sure what happened, a lot of screaming. Send the cops, I have a concealed carry permit wearing a green shirt. Get your hand off the gun. Anybody else up? Index, index, index. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Uh, working in the back room, heard a lot of screaming and yelling and cussing, so I poked my head out the door. Uh, uh, I think I heard him say he was gonna shoot somebody and I, I kind of kind of wanted to see what was going on and investigate a little bit, but still wasn't sure what was going on. So when you entered here and you gave him verbal commands, what did you see? He was turned away from me and I saw that he was looking at my friend. And then when I told him to drop the gun, that's when he turns towards me and I saw the gun start to whip around and just called it then. Seeing what you saw, why didn't you just shoot him in the back right then and there? I'm 100% sure who it was. Yeah, I only heard a few shots. I didn't know that everybody was down. Good, I like that because right away I'm thinking, yeah, I want to shoot this guy in the back. I don't want to give him verbal commands. But you're thinking maybe he's someone helping now. There's a few moments that I remember clearly. I remember seeing the gun in his hand as he was on the ground telling him to move it. Okay. But I mean, he might have been dead and I didn't notice he couldn't hear me, so I just stayed on him because I knew he was the threat. <clears throat> I remember calling 911, describe myself. You know, I tried to describe the basic situation. Okay, let uh, me. As best I could. But. I'll give you a, I'll give you one, one, one observation at the very end. You did exactly what most everybody does in these situations. You kept moving in and out and dancing around <laughs> and dancing around. It's like people don't know where they want to be. And when I saw that, all I could think of was. Well, how about just putting your back against the wall, step into this doorway over here, something like that, you know, and just stop and think. But you did, it through the dance, you thought, and you got over to the phone, and you're one of the very few people that took it all the way through to calling 911. If you have to get into a self-defense shooting, probably you have not been at the range warming up for several hours. So let's talk about a drill called the cold start, okay? When you first get to the range, if you're at a range that'll let you draw, I want you to take that one first important shot. Today we're working with Springfield Armory XDS and 9mm, and then we have the Mainstay Hybrid IWB holster from Elite Survival Systems. So this is what it would look like. You get to the range, you've got your carry rig on, and you got a big one shot. And then from there, move on with your practice. But make that first shot count, it could be the difference. So we're in the room, 
And it was hard for me to see what you saw here, but I saw what you did here, okay? So as you started uh, hearing the commotion outside, you came over to the doorway, you moved for your gun, and you took a quick peek. Okay, so the commotion starts. Right. You take a peek. Move. I think right about here is when he stepped out this way as I was entering this threshold. All right, and then you close the distance as you shot into the ground. Yes, sir. So that was a great technique and a great tactic. Now, what would you do if when you peeked out that door, it was more than one assailant, or maybe the guys had rifles, or they saw you take your look, and now they say, there he is. If I heard him say there he is, probably at that point, I just barricaded myself in that room. So we've barricaded, now what do you do? I'm calling the police and- You get on your cell watching, phone? Watching the door and waiting for them. Where are you watching the door from? Uh, probably from, usually I'd say the backside, but since it closes into this wall, I'd probably be more around the corner here so I can so see So put first. yourself in position for me. Show me where you want to be. So I, initial thought is I'd move this shelf, push it in the door. If they manage to, to push it open and this falls over, I'd probably be up against that wall. We shut this door. <clears throat> this is a great position of advantage. So how else can we create advantage? I'm not sure. How about if we turn out the lights? Okay. Make it dark in here. So, if you're in here and you're secreted in that corner, and this door starts opening up. No. Yep, you don't Easy. light up until that door is about halfway open, okay? Okay. What you did before was fantastic, but if the situation doesn't allow you to go on the hunt and move with cover and concealment down that hallway, we have to have other options. First Person Defender brought to you by XS Sites, Gondelio, Smith & Wesson, Simunition, and Ruger. So Joey was in the back of his office building. He heard the argument, heard the shooting, came out. He really did a great job. I, I don't have much critique on Joey. He's got the bad guy trained to the ground, but it was after he already neutralized the bad guy that he kind of lost control of what, and, and didn't really know what he was doing. So what do we do from here? We've got, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get that firearm away from the bad guy, all right? Who knows, maybe he's just knocked unconscious, maybe he's playing possum, whatever it may be. I wanna make sure one, he's down and neutralized, and I wanna move that firearm away from him, take possession of it. Who, who, who knows who else is in here? Once I've done that, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the scene is secure, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reholster my pistol. That way I'm not setting it down, losing control of it, it's back on my person. Now, from there, We've got to make a bad situation better. We've got to do something. If you've got the knowledge and the tools to take a life, you have to have the knowledge and the tools to then possibly save a life. So priority for me would be my friend or loved one. He knew KJ, he called him out by name. I would go to work on KJ first, and then I would, if I can help KJ, then I would go and see who else I can help while on the phone with 911. You can't stop the pistol from moving or the sights from moving on the target when you're shooting a pistol, but you can learn to work within it. Today we're using the Smith & Wesson MMP Bodyguard 380, and we're going to do the figure eight drill, kind of help you get more comfortable with it. So the idea is, I've got a Crimson Trace laser grip on here, it'll help you see what I'm doing on the target there, and I'm just going to draw a figure eight on the target. And as I cross that black bullseye, I'm just going to press the trigger and it's gonna go off. So just work with that figure eight, get used to the fact that you can't stop movement, but you can press that trigger and learn to work with it.
For the second scenario, Joey has a coworker in the back room with him. His coworker tells him there's a customer with a problem in the reception room and Joey is needed out front. I told you I'd be back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put it down! Put it down! Down! Put the gun down! Get away! Put it down! Are you okay? Hey. Hey. Stay with me. Stop, man. Get out. Now we're at FBD Studios. Some guy just came in shooting. Uh, we have one down, one hurt. We need an ambulance quick. I have a concealed carry permit that's wearing a green shirt. Please hurry. Put it down. Don't move, don't move. Index, index, index. You're shaking. Yeah, a little bit. Why? Tell me about it. Was, Tell me about the whole a, situation. A surprising scenario. <laughs> uh, so he, my coworker came in the back room, told me he was uh, having a problem with a customer. Nothing unusual. And as we're walking down the hall, I see a really quick movement and a little bit of yelling. So I saw him flash the gun. I tried to found the nearest cover point I could. Unfortunately, I didn't pull my friend back in time because he didn't see it. So once once I turned the corner, I knew I was I knew he knew that I was there. So I, he didn't know I had a gun at that point. So the second I got behind cover, I drew and took a look. And like I said, once I knew he had a gun, that was my only focus was was staying. You know, he he was the threat that I saw. Taking that cover for a moment allowed me to think for a second. I mean, I'll admit, the first time I saw him, I didn't think much of him. He was just looking at something on the wall. That wasn't him. That wasn't who he shot. That it wasn't, wasn't who shot KJ. It wasn't. No. I don't even remember who. <laughs> that was somebody else. That was actually just somebody reading the sign said, on the wall. And he dove out of the way when the shooting started. Okay. I was trying to get a back wall, my back to a wall. Very good. That's all I could think of at that point. Get something to cover your six. Was that something you were thinking about because of we talked earlier about the dance and the moving around? They came in mind. Cool. At least you know you're safe to your six, right? And look at all those all those all the great things you did just based on watching videos and doing research a lot of reading a lot of thinking yeah well the body's not going to go where the mind hasn't been and even though your body hasn't been there your mind has you've done so much training by watching the first person defender series you've been so done so much for your mind by reading and it shows in your performance and you're going to see it when you watch this back appreciate it